Okay, so now it's pretty obvious. Yeah, some of these scumbag humans come around calling me God. As if somehow they've been watching me in my room alone and they understand that I am actually creating much of the world. Uh, well, isn't that sad? That you would have to come out and admit some shit like that? Something's happening that you're a parasite watching me and you're not a living human working doing anything you're watching me instead when you claim you are working or doing anything and you're crying about how much life hurt and like the I haven't had any of the clones I directly summon cry about how much life hurt yet. Not that I noticed. The first one I noticed, the, the second Joe, um, I was like still stunned. Like, how the fuck does this person exist? And damn, dude, this is a cop too, isn't it? They got pictures of them in a cop uniform 10 years ago. And now they got pictures of them hanging out with cops and their old pictures, they look like cops. Huh, that was a weird one. The first clone I noticed was weird, but anyway, so, okay, so now the humans are, some of them are calling me God. Well, not humans, right? Because humans are living beings, so whatever the clone things are, you're disqualified. You've been banned from the human, from the human Olympics. You can't be a human, you can't participate in our rat race if you're not a human. That's illegal, it's against the rules be part of the human race if you not a human. <sighs> Fortunately for them, no one ever wrote the rules, but now I have. So, anyway, so they've been, like, drugging me my whole life, abusing me, targeting me, trying to beat me up since I was a toddler, trying to isolate and separate me to destroy my brain because I was smarter than everyone else and they would think that that's going to, I don't know. They, I think they thought it would stall me when in fact what it did is I sat there and I studied them and I listened to every word they said and I learned what they are and who they are as NPC characters sent in a game to play a role as devils being set up for removal. So, <clears throat> yeah, congratulations. How many times is that? I, I'm just going to assume that's every time. Because it was obvious, you know, when uh, one of the special scumbags, uh, when I was given a million dollars, and then a week later a special scumbag came and killed himself beside me, and they tried to use that to lock me up for life. And that didn't work because I had the million dollars, and I didn't use, I didn't kill him outside of God powers. So you, you definitely don't want to take that to court either, but who knows if they actually thought that that was the case and they were just scared to bring that up in court. That would have been a good TV show, one of it, if they would have brought that up in court and be like, you know what, you, we really think he killed him because he's God and he can just say that person dies and they die. And, um, wow. Hell, I think the bigger problem would have been educating me on who I am. Because what is the purpose of the, of the human bots here? If they've been spending their life drugging and isolating me and terrorizing me and trying to hold me back into caveman ages. Uh, only to later come to me and reveal to me I'm God and I'm the reason they are who they are and why they exist. Wow. Wow. Why would you even do that? That's so NPC. -it. That's so human wannabe. To run your mouth about something dumb like that. You know, if you can keep your mouth shut for 40 years. <clears throat> that you think I'm God. And you think, uh, you think what you got to do is poison me and try to destroy me. Before something bad that you worship happens to you that I'm going to do. Um, that's just the dumbest shit ever to actually come out and start saying that. 
I'm not sure if they now lack the uh, inability to lie about stuff like that because, wow, since then I've had people come up to me telling me that they're going to rob me and stuff like that before they do. And it's like, do you realize just what you said, you fucking mentally ill Santa Claus believer? You just told me everything you're going to do. As if I don't know. As if I don't have... As if I, like, don't feel things and know everything. Almost everything that's happening. As if that doesn't happen, sure, telling me is great. But tell me that God thing is pretty fucked up when you consider their history and what they've been up to. Like, why would you do that? Why would you terrorize God? And prevent him from going anywhere, destroy his life, enslave him, drug him, send people to try to kill him multiple times. Who knows how many times? All I remember off the top of my head is this is multiple times now, isn't it? Since I was eight now, at least. They started off though at, at second one with their uh, child rape mutilation, with their psychotic. Santa Claus delusions, uh, which, <clears throat> I mean, did they know? Did they know day one, delusion one, this is God, we've got to chop him up. How do they know day 40, or hour, year 40, hour 400,000? How do they know then, if they didn't know day one? Hmm. But we know now they've been doing it. And we know how many are involved. And it's called, all of them? It's, they said, we are all. Okay. Let me explain this since NPC or humans are NPC and they're, they failed kindergarten English and writing. There's words. I know some people say words they don't mean. Uh, what those words mean is everything has been drugging me. Everything has been abusing me. Everything has been terrorizing me. Everything has been stalking me. And everything knew I was God. And the only thing I can think of that is they were scared. If they don't kill God, they're going to die. Which is weird because their death is going to be because of all those actions, not, well, I mean, if you just watch the politics and the fact that the, their their 40-year war started a month before I was born, their ongoing war that hasn't ended yet, isn't that coincidental timing that I come into the world right before the world's final war, or right after the world's final war? starts just right after it. <sighs> Definitely don't see that as a coincidence with the rest of the God stuff either. Um, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, so so I, what should we do? We have this human race here terrorizing me, stalking me, holding me back, trying to kill me repeatedly, drugging me, enslaving me, Making, I, the things that are important to me here, this is all I care about them having to receive in return, is we'll forgive them for some of those things, most of those things. I mean, this is trillions and, yeah, I realize if everyone's all in it together, we at least have half the population who is all in it together. And we've seen COVID was, yeah, you're all in it together, aren't you? And, um, we have, I mean, there's a couple people, and they were talking about, like, 0.001% I dealt with or something. Because if you guys remember, that's when you had to start destroying my cameras even more than before, because I was recording everything. I was out in the street recording everyone to get it all documented. Not really knowing, but, uh. Definitely, whatever helps me here has been pushing me all the way. I mean, clearly what gave me the million dollars to use the God powers to eliminate a person and be taught about 
how this is something I'm going to have to man up and deal with in the future. Um, what protected me all the other times? They drugged me and tried to kill me besides just being the living God here. Um, yeah. Anyways. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm not concerned with all their little bullshit. I mean, all in together means that's like, let's, let's say uh, like 30 crimes are committed against me a day. So that's 30 times 14 billion. That's 19 monkeys and 18 zebras crime a day. Yes. And it'll take you that long. This world will be over before you figure out whether I'm lying about that or making it up. So, we'll go with that. 19 monkeys and 18 zebras a day. So, we're going to reduce that mathematical equation down to numbers that people can understand. About two or three things. I think the things that have affected me the most and totally destroyed me in my existence have been prevented from doing anything I want. And kept away from people I want to be around. So, there's countless numbers there, which they've done that. But majorly, I had really only wanted like one thing every 10 years. So, let's stick with like seven things. More recently, every four years, I throw some in because I understand now that it's me versus billions of people here. And I'm not here to play tiddlywinks, even though I might want to sit down and play a game of tiddlywinks. But the humans don't let me, because whatever controls their brain doesn't let the story not go on, apparently. It's definitely not them. We can tell from COVID and uh, that stuff. The humans, well, not very human anymore, if they ever were. But... How else would have they ever known to um, target me and drug me and try to send people to assault me and terrorize me my whole life, you know? Like, uh, how, how do they know to come up and call me God nowadays? No one used to do that. What happened in 2020 that changed everyone's minds besides me saying they should be honest and everything should be shown to me that um they uh, magically come out now and call me god after doing all these things so what's bothered me the most is i think the things we can let the other stuff go um the things that matter to me were being prevented from doing anything i want and being prevented from being around people I want to be around. So those are the things that I think need to be happening to the humans. Uh, we, like I said, we have Z, 12 zebra, 18 giraffe counts. That's many, many ones, many millions, many hundreds of thousands of each count I can bring up. So I'm only going with the two charges against humanity and uh, that's all I want them to pay back is um, that's all I want them to experience that's there's no way to pay back blood in life is there um, they would be the first people to argue that blood is in life is so important aka the pixels bleeding out their NPC uh, visual artifacts Weird how they love life and they aren't the clones I summon aren't even living beings. I just created them. Mm. It's almost like they need some certain people alive to be their slaves. But uh, they definitely don't fall short of trying to kill and poison me. Uh, I guess now, I, you know, once I found the, the powder... And my drinks in 2020 and everyone started calling me God asking to be shown everything everything like falls into place like oh 
Oh, oh, that's why you got let out of jail. Oh, that's why people magically intercepted you and tried to kill you on the way out of jail. That's why people tried to kill you and you ended up in jail. And that's why these other people here tried to set you up with people who will assault and kill people and lock you in rooms with them for years, for months. And that's why they, and, and then when they're caught, isolated me from other females or males I want to talk to and uh, making sure only I can be around one certain little bloodline there. Um, that that actually ties into the first time when I was eight years old and the humans tried to uh, set me up to be assaulted in school. Uh, and when they tried to remove me from school by advancing me, they, they the first teacher in kindergarten when they advanced me seemed like it almost seemed like they were legit like just too ignorant to know what to do with uh, an intelligent person um by their words but the rest of them oh yeah definitely i mean there's a reason why i get to hear what people say when they're on the other side of the room and between 30 other people talking in a large crowd it's because that's like storyline being pushed my way so I was definitely meant to hear that for a reason. Uh, their words entirely conflicted with what they were actually doing when they separated me. And, uh, well, here we are, 30 years later, now that I'm not a foot tall. Uh, their children are coming up to me calling me God. So, who knew? I mean, that's some weird shit. Like, shouldn't those people be locked away in a mental asylum? People going around calling people God and stuff. Yeah, that's what they used to do to me. Isn't that what you guys did to me right before COVID? You guys locked me up and forced injected me with poisons that crippled me for a month. And fucking probably crippled my mind permanently. I mean, that's what they were doing back then when I was eight years old, too. They, they were setting up the... Uh, they were trying to set up a physical assault at that point, and then the next year, I think, is when they started the drugging. So that's been like 30 years, 32 years of, 34 maybe, of uh, 34, 35, of this cult of humans who are so pervasive in society that they can magically always be there and always be in control wherever I go, just as if they were only empty shells to start, to house a, a new dialogue. It's like, it's almost like a video game where, you know, you got to go to the innkeeper to talk to the innkeeper and sleep, but instead I can just go to the Pizza Hut, and if I'm tired, like the Pizza Hut dude will be like, oh, we got a bed back here for $20 a night, you know, or I can just go to some empty house and find a bed or I can go to some random stranger's house and then be like, oh, we got a bed here for 20 gold pieces a night. That's what it really, like, kind of boils down to. Like, no matter how much I run from it, the storyline is exactly there and stuff. Like, literally, because I've been running from it because they've been terrorizing me. You know, I'm like a, like a four-year-old or something. Uh, you know, I'm eight when I'm in first grade and the teachers start, uh, just trying to lock me in the room with a bully and now looking back you know the whole thing was set up clearly um, in the isolation and separation and then the removal of me from those advanced grades that put me in a better school where they're just as retarded but um i mean i was asked but Hell, I didn't even know that they were trying to, you know, I did know, like, hey, they put me in the room with the bullet, with the dude beating up everyone in school, but it's like, he was cool to me and stuff, but, um, they did know that I wasn't learning anything by just sitting there talking to him all day, I don't know, you know, if I had my mindset now, I would have, like, organized something with him, and we would have just taken off the fucking school and ran it when I was eight, but, uh, I didn't, you know, when I was eight years old, I thought I was an eight-year-old human so i thought this they just did the shit i did and it always surprised me when people got fucked up from it or the outcome was positive or whatever 
<clears throat> or it didn't surprise me. I mean, like, I won awards from the president. It didn't surprise me. I was just like, oh, this is stupid. <clears throat> yeah, but, um, <clears throat> had I knew then, I would have, me and him could have taken over the school. Definitely. But anyways, yeah, so the, so the humans have been doing that since then. And, um, I think I'm going to let them off for most of their little things. Uh, total invasion, constant invasion of my life, separating me from people I want to be around, destroying my entire existence here, um, drugging me, you know, running for president, can't do that, not allowed to have a job at all, apparently. Um, I, but they're really just that afraid if I work at McDonald's, I'll get enough I'll get five extra bucks to go buy some more cameras to record them committing their crimes. Guess what? We don't need cameras to record you committing your crimes. You did it in the open in 2020. You know, like, fucking, those are Nazi war crimes. Fucking, everyone did that. It's, you don't need a camera. Everyone knows everyone did it. No one's going to deny that happened if it goes to court before it goes to war and the war's already started so it's not going to court so what I want done <clears throat> is um take their lives away from them take anything they like away from them never let them have anything they want again and never let them around anyone they want to be around again those two things and um Oh, yeah, they're so good. I mean, I simply asked for my camera back. And I got that back. The humans have been real good at listening. Oh, no, dude, this is like a terrorist species. Always been poisoning me and assaulted, trying to uh, have me fucking knocked off since I was a child. And that's probably because what they say today, that they think I'm God. Which means they're fucking scared of what's going, what they think I could possibly do to them. Even though that also means they're too dumb to realize what that actually means. Because wherever I am, what it means is I'm alive. And I've really fucked them up compared, I mean they might have taken away my entire life. And I don't have, I've never done anything I want or been able to feel around any, anyone I want. But when it comes to destroying them and fucking their system up, I've definitely done that a lot. And they do argue back. You know, God does argue back with me. Like, you know, like, that's like some awesome shit you've been through. I don't think anyone's ever done that. Maybe you would rather do that than do the things you think you want to do. He doesn't quite go that far, but he does point out that it's not been boring stuff and well they're not been boring stuff the only stuff that makes it even worth being here is fucking this place up and um they keep doing it they keep a doing it so the toddler rapists the toddler assaulters the toddler druggers the people stealing my devices my the people preventing the enslavers who are so scared of slaves who could actually do work and work hard and go somewhere and do something of value for the world, who so don't want that instilled on the earth, go as far to destroy cameras or computers people own or any sort of method, cars. How many times did I have to post videos that the Jewish were uh, coming to me and buying my cars? Like they would travel like 15,000 miles, 1,500 miles from other countries to come buy my car after I suspected that they destroyed it with a, uh, you know, with whatever method they're using. After I'm dating people who work with Donald Trump and take me to meet the richest Abrahamics in my city and stuff as if I already didn't well they took me to meet the second richest because my dad already worked for the richest Jeffrey Epstein's uh, and I had already known those people and I already worked for them myself uh, there we go such a magical world isn't it weird how it all falls in together like that like even if even if there's something I say that 
couldn't be proved. Like, oh, COVID didn't happen. 2020 didn't happen. He's making that up. No one's brain was fried there. No one did anything. And if you want to say some shit like that, like, uh, there's just too much other stuff there that makes it look like some sort of Final Fantasy video game. But, um, yeah, those are the two things I think um, the human should be paying back. And, um, now, time constraints and uh, labor constraints. I do understand that that could be very expensive and they require labor, excessive labor to to do those things. So there might just, we might have to settle for something entirely different and a faster method of dealing with the 18 giraffes, 17 gorilla accounts uh, of uh, crimes here done against me yearly. Um, but I do think um, we can at least attempt some of this shit. Uh, once we, uh, you know, uh, obviously in the meantime, their crimes are, are also stacking up by the second. As I use this camera and I see that it's damaged as I'm using it, um, that, you know, each millisecond this thing's running. That's another count for all 14 billion humans. Uh, so, we, you know, the crimes are still adding up. You know, we're like 17 gorilla, 17 giraffe almost already. So, um, you know, way beyond the decadillions and quintillions. Uh, so we might have to add or change things, but I think for now, what I'd be safe with is knowing that, um, everyone had everything that they've ever liked or wanted taken away from them and never allowed to see it again, and anyone they've ever wanted to be around, they're never allowed to see it again, be around. Um, and you know, humans, don't you? They've been doing this since I was a toddler. They're, shit, they're god child rapists. They're literally people who rape and try to destroy God as an infant. Hey, you really think they're going to give up now? But I, they're feeding me media telling me I'm a bitch. As if uh, I didn't try to attend their funeral to their friends' funerals to let them know how funny I thought it was. And they had to hide the locations from me because they was worried there'd be a lot more fucking caskets that day if they gave that out. And they didn't want no one showing up and laughing at their bitch asses. Ha! <sighs> See, you can't make up shit like that, dude. It's fucking Final Fantasy fucking to the max and shit here. Was, uh, damn, that would have been so fun to go to those funerals, so Fucking out. You fucking piece of shit. You're dying now in pain, aren't you? Maybe that's because you, uh, you cast your voodoo on me. Or is that because uh, you didn't share that information with me and I so bad wanted to go to that funeral? Fucking out. Uh, yeah. Right. I heard you told me that your arm doesn't move anymore either. That was like 10 years ago. Hmm. After you did that to my arm. Boy. Oh, it sucks to not be able to move your arms very well, huh? Must suck. Because I healed. Anyway, so yeah. Those are the things I want. Um, the humans have everything they've ever wanted taken from them like I have. And everyone they've ever wanted to be around taken from them like I have. And since, since the whole relation, not necessarily that last part like I had, the first part. Oh yes, that's definitely, they've been targeting me for that. Uh, the second part is we can only prove a few instances because I had to like, I had to test it on people I really didn't even want to be around necessarily. I wanted to be around them more than them. But um, we, we just got, I mean, I guess the dudes were pretty cool. I liked them, but 
I'm going to assume since uh, so far none of them have uh, went back on what they've been doing. Working for this devil Abrahamic group and uh, working for their devil nations and working for this... Apparently there's this, this other living being on this planet called the devil himself who... Uh, and that's like we're in like a chess game and the humans are like our pawns and stuff apparently that's how the the puppeteering of the human works and i, I think i'm supposed to play along with that although this other person has never showed up in form i had it i had one dude show up to me and then um he showed me a picture of someone else he was like this is my book and i'm writing it and he had like you know I mean, I get a lot of people with lots of money. You come up to me with hundreds of thousands of dollars. It really isn't like you're some big shit in my world. But he was definitely making claims. You know, when you got hundreds of thousands of dollars and you're making claims you're the devil and you meet up with me, you know, it's a little bit different than when you meet up with a bum on the street and you're like, hey, I got a hundred thousand dollars. I'm the devil. Um... He showed me a picture of someone else, though, so he didn't even come to me in his, uh, in, in his body. I assumed he was a dude over there sitting on the bench there. But, yeah, um, so whatever that person is, I guess the war is just me and the, the world is just me and that person, really. I mean, there is some help me, but that's me on the outside controlling my shell, right? That's the father and stuff. person who created my avatar um, and then the games so we don't know which parts of the game storyline because we're in the game and the game is supposed to seem realistic here um, but uh since they keep keeping up like I said here we are 3147 seconds into this video and every millisecond I'm reminded that this camera is broke thanks to these human Muppets. Wow. 31.473,000. If we're counting by the second and not millisecond. That is going to be... 320,000 count. That have uh, separated me from simple things I want in life. I zoom each second. You know, I make the rules here, don't I? Uh, boy, what's that? Uh, what's that amount of money they owe me for uh, when they tried to kill me with the Joey Klotz thing? And then, I mean, the million dollars I got to pay for it was cute, but um, that was just payment for that. That wasn't payback for them stealing God's blood from him. Um, yeah. Yeah. But that, uh, that, that interest rate is super fucking, we're talking about like, we're at like two giraffes. Two giraffe dollars they owe me. That means we're way beyond quint. Now we might not actually be way beyond quintillion because, you know, multiplication isn't that intrusive. And it, I'm not sure if I threw an additional multiplier into that after like eight years of um, putting the requirements out. But uh, pretty sure we're at least into the quintillion now owed, and that's post collapse so when the dollar collapses it's post collapse value which is like more gold than ever has been mined um so we have that too like i i forgot like i mean that was something that's just that's small change right that's just the one time they set up robbing my life trying to kill me and rob my life from me um Yep, so, well, it's cool you guys get to have lives and jobs and families. That's beautiful. It's beautiful that when I summon a clone out here, that it has a family. It has parents. It totally forgets I just summoned it. And that I might be its parent. 
actually. But it gets its cool great family and everything. And it has a beautiful life it lives and everything. And gets to have anything it wants and feels without worry 24-7. Whereas I'm born into a world where even not knowing what was going on, I knew what was going on. Somehow, I mean, you kind of know by like, I knew, obviously, by first grade when they're talking, sent me inside with bullies in rooms alone that they were making up shit about not wanting me beat up when that's why they're not putting me with other people and they're putting me with the bully. The words in their mouth. See, the NPC fucking don't even say words that make sense sometimes. The humans just feel like, They'll be saying, like, I'll ask questions, and they'll walk by and answer the question while talking to each other, and it'll be totally irrelevant to any conversation a human would have about humans. They'll be, like, talking about shit like this. It's irrelevant to human... Um, no answer. So, like, I know that was happening when I was eight, too, now. Um, they were telling me they were running their mouth about what was going on because the game was forcing them to say dialogue that I can hear like way across the room in between a whole bunch of other people and walls and stuff and yeah so damn the humans tried to set me up to assault me when I was eight years old because I'm God is that why they knew they knew before 2020 I just forced them to start talking in 2020. That's not actually been answered. No one's answered that. Maybe I haven't asked it. Maybe I haven't actually asked for that. Um, probably haven't. I don't want to ask for a lot of shit. Um, well, tell me not small things like that anymore. But yeah, I've got these other plans right now here. You know, I, because I'm just, you know, the humans always take it too far, obviously. They're trying to beat up first grader, eight-year-olds, because they think they might be God, and if they kill them, then they won't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> right? Is it, that's, I'm, I'm wondering, is the Bible being written, like, as my life happens? Because some of those people definitely implied that, and then, like, but more telling is, like, the physical world itself. Like, when the movies, when, like, Matrix 4 comes out, I'm recording a video. I go in and see Matrix 4, post a video, and the video's, like, the same thing happening in Matrix 4. Like, uh... Okay, if Matrix 4 is being made just for me and my life and existence through this world, then, uh, you can bet your ass the rest of it is, too. So that would make sense, because that story does kind of like, in many ways, parallel stuff I walked through as a kid now that I'm looking back. They're going to try to kill him when he's a kid. They're going to hunt him when he's a kid. They're going to poison the people who they think are the gods. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff now is very apparent that's what was happening. I mean... They're the ones coming out. The humans are the ones coming out now calling me God. So, you know. Why would, why would a human lie? <laughs> no, no, seriously. After all their lying, why would they come out and be honest? That's the norm. That's the weirdest part. What happened to everyone's brain in 2020? It's like, it's almost like God hit the off switch or something. And to a lot of things. I mean, they don't even see it because the off switch has remained in the off position. They don't even remember that because it's in the off switch. They don't even remember what happened in 2020 because the off switch. How does that even happen? I wish I... Bro, I've been looking for that off switch. You guys have been looking for that off switch for a while trying to poison me, haven't you? And shit. Fucking, um, 
whoever these people are, I'm, I'm sure there's good people out there somewhere. That's probably who they're trying to separate me from, right? That's probably why they're trying to beat me up and kill me, because they're trying to separate me from those people. I mean, clearly, what, why else were they worried about me talking to some other people? The, the we're all in it together thing definitely will always never forget that. We'll never forget that. Um, but yeah, I've got uh, some other plans. Um, like I said, those plans can be real expensive. You know, making, making the, the clones and shit not be able to interact with anyone they want ever again you know just it's just a couple of things done to me that's all it's not i'm not greedy like the humans i don't want everything i don't need everything we can't pay there ain't enough back there ain't enough to pay back for everything it's like the countdown for the one time they stole money from me and my family alone it's too high for this nation to pay off period too high for the world to pay off. That one time they fucking destroyed my life. Could you imagine, like, like a rich human places their life at, lives at like a million dollars a second when they're dying? And, and you're talking about like the person who created a billion of those rich people who value their lives. A billion dollars a second. But yeah, I, I mean, I actually lowballed it. I didn't even understand yet. I was just beginning to understand, like, well, that person died because I'm God. Well, I say God, so. I just begin to understand now. Yeah, well, hopefully uh, the humans get, you know, look, their fair share, the ones um, who have been involved in this stuff, uh, which none of them are if you ask them, but we... We had 2020. We, uh, we already gathered all that evidence. There's a reason why so many of them have been so adamant on destroying my technology and my cameras. Although, we don't need that, do we? Because you're not in a real world. And you're already being watched and monitored. So, it's, uh, the few seconds you appear on the screen are definitely... Uh, these people up here on the screen are definitely... Uh, captured without the camera. I don't need to worry about that one. That was just going to be blackmail if uh, they ever try some dumb shit with the government again. But uh, apparently, the government's not going to last too long if they ever come at me again because they did that shit right before COVID happened and then they got their asses shut down. So I'm not concerned with that too much anymore because next time someone tries to kidnap me or poison me, looks like the whole world's going to get worse than kidnapped and poisoned this time. Because last time, that just happened. So, huh. Yeah. Now, the fucked up thing is, is the game keeps making the storyline go on, so it, it hasn't, like, remedied the whole humans doing this thing, because the storyline is, you, know, you don't go to a video game to, to have sex with some fat cow. You, um, you get video games to stomp on Goombas and stuff. And uh, from what I can see, we're reaching the Goomba stomping age. Before that cost a million dollars to be around Goombas when they stomp themselves. Or if you use fireball spells to stomp them. And... Now we're reaching an age where they're just kind of stomping each other out. But, yeah, not fun. Not fun being terrorized and enslaved by these beasts on this planet. So let's get rid of these bad ones. And uh, let's have these other ones uh, sort out what's going on in their heads uh, with the, why, how I'm God and why... Um, there's been such large groups of humans involved in uh, poisoning me and drugging me and railroading my life to make it an eternal hell that I want nothing to do with and um, never have been able to do anything I want. 
none of the major things I want. Ooh, I got to eat a hot dog. I mean, that's it. none of this NPC shit. Anything the NPCs do. Come on. You guys aren't even real. The living beings don't do, a, do that shit all day. Okay? Living beings don't watch TV and eat hot dogs all day. Okay, we don't eat hot dogs for 20 trillion, decadillion, godzillion, giraffe, zebra, infinity years. Sorry. That's literally for these people who come on screen for like seven minutes and stuff, and I summon. So that doesn't add up. We're, we're past that anyways. We're past having to explain that. If I explain that again, I'm going to start punching myself every time. And then that's going to get added up onto the human countless too. Just like me having to poison myself to try to escape the humans because... The humans are poisoning me and terrorizing me, and I'm trying to find a way to escape them. If I have to torture myself to escape them, that's torture on their hands, too. That's them torturing me, because there is ways I can easily escape them. So that's on their hands, too, for trying to force me to be alive. Like, isn't that weird, too? They're fighting to try to kill me, poison. They're fighting to try to drug me and assault me. But then they fight to drug me and assault me. To keep me alive. It's almost like uh, their main their main thing. Maybe we should focus more on repaying them for the main thing they love. Terrorism. They love terrorism and terrorizing. Apparently some of them think I'm God. And that's kind of a weird storyline I have. Uh, that uh, And that's just written that. God is being stalked and hunted and terrorized by by humans. It just happens to happen to me, too. And it happens, happens to be people saying I'm God. Hmm. It's, it's almost like they're trying to keep me alive, but they want to fry my brain so they can use me and terrorize me, which is, which is actually very compliant with their story that I'm God. I'm supposed to be their servant. I'm supposed to lick their feet clean. I'm not supposed to improve the world for everyone or protect brown people or Arabs they're robbing or Asians or anyone they're robbing. I'm supposed to lick one of their feet or 12 of their feet throughout my entire life and the rest of the human are just trash. I should ignore. According to each of them, probably, I don't... Don't have the God, I don't allow the God conversation much, like, uh, and, uh, obviously it's a dumbass idea to bring that up with me anyways, cause it's gonna lead to me questioning why the terrorism if I'm God. Um, yeah, I think, um, especially for the people involved, like, those who knew and have been involved in the terrorism, like, I don't remember their faces exactly, but we can obtain all the, we can obtain all the information saved somewhere. Especially all those teachers, uh, send me up, stuff like that, drugging me, um, easily obtained information. As a past, yeah, I mean, 2020 was, I mean, it was, it was an entire nation. Some claim it was the entire world, but I went to a different nation and the other nation wasn't shut down, so... Maybe when I was on this isolated Western anti-God Nazi media internet that um, they were lying about other nations shutting down. Because, well, the first rule in America is if someone says it, they're lying. So you always got to remember that rule. And then if you go to another nation and you see things... I mean, I already knew they were lying about these other people being filthy monkeys and crime everywhere and just gangsters shooting each other. I already knew, like, that's a lie. But it's still a different thing to go and see it. And then seeing that there's only, like, a sign that COVID may have been there once and actually wasn't shut down and they weren't keeping you out of stores and preventing you from doing it from bathing or eating like americans did in 2020 to me they kept me from getting food and bathing 
and they destroyed my life and took more of my life from me. You know what? We just up this to uh, the new charge. I'm writing a book for um, everyone's going to be isolated from anything they like and um, anyone they want to be around. And I'm building a carnival for them to go in. And we're going to put the carnival on pay-per-view. They can be performers in the carnival. Don't worry. You don't need any training for this at all. It only requires you to be in the carnival. And, uh, put that on pay-per-view and repay some of the world. Well, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about 2020. Congratulations, guys. Keep terrorizing God. Keep it up. Keep up your dumb shit NPC attitudes. So you'll figure out soon what the fuck that means that I can... That when I summon clones, it means they're not living beings. 